Hello everybody, my name is Bulba. You may know me because I run the Amity Wearbright channel that you're watching a video on right now. And I'm pretty sure you've everybody's known about this by now, even though it was only posted today. Whether you saw it from my community post, someone else's community post, on Twitter, on Instagram, basically anything. Hell, maybe someone even showed it to you in person today, and that's how you found out. But, as we all know, The Owl House Season 3 is coming this October 15th. Now, I posted about this actually quite some time ago, for the first time all the way back in June. A lot, I will admit a lot of people didn't believe me, which I can't really blame them. I didn't have an official source at the time, but that time has passed, and now it has been proven by even the creator of The Owl House, Dana Terrace herself. The poster for The Owl House Season 3 has been revealed, which you've probably already seen it already, all over the place. It's even the thumbnail of this video, so you've definitely seen it. And there are a lot of things that you can see through the poster, and a lot of speculations with stuff that we could be seeing, or just general stuff to analyze from the poster. Anyways, so let's take a look at the poster right here. On the left and right of the poster, basically all over the place, you can see tombstones, which is, I'd say, somewhat concerning. It's never a good sign when there's tombstones all over the place, and you have no context besides that. On the top left, we can see Bellows, or what appears to re something resembling him, like his monster form. And back to the actual characters themselves, since I haven't talked about that yet, everyone seems to have new hairstyles. They all have longer hair, like look at Amity, look at Willow, look at Luz. Everyone looks completely different from what I remember. Hell, it doesn't even have to be just longer hair. Look at Hunter, his thing is completely different. A lot of the characters look different. It may just be the lighting, which it definitely is because we've already seen the official render, but Amity's hair looks a little bit lighter, more like a pinkish. But in the official render, it still appears to be that lavender purple world we've been familiar with for a while now, so there's nothing too like crazy about that. Luz, her new design seems to be like the beta Lucian of the design that I think a lot of us have seen by now, which I honestly think this could be hinting at a uh, time skip ranging anywhere between at least a month to up to a year. We know this episode is going to be taking place from Halloween time, at least the new episode. We don't know when exactly, but we do have enough evidence to support this theory. But there will be a time skip, I assume, due to all these characters looking either older or just completely different from when we last saw them in King's Tide. I think we... there's a lot of stuff to go off of, like, one, the huge tree in the background, like the Grom tree? That's interesting, that's one of the first things that caught my eye, in fact. It's like, what could be happening? With I, I, I think I'm just digging way too much in, but that's the point of this video. There's a lot of stuff to go off of. If you see loses what she's holding, it doesn't appear to be a light glyph. You can see a handle of a flashlight. And that's interesting because we know glyphs don't really work in the human realm. Neither does, I believe, magic just doesn't work in the human realm. We uh, That could be subject to change because they could something could be different with the Owl House now in Season 3. So that will be officially determined if the character is able to use magic, which they'll probably get into early on because normally you'd see them using it like at least once an episode. So that'll be something we'll definitely see in the new episode, thanks to them. Which, yeah, I think I already mentioned this, or at least it's October 15th, but I'm just saying again, just in case I forgot to mention. Also, I don't really like how Flapjack is perched on that tombstone. It's scaring me a little bit. Like, and another thing about this tombstone, you see this one on the very bottom right near the Disney logo with like a crown on it. But I, well, it has the letter E engraved into the tombstone. Like, could that mean Edel and Clawthorn? I, I don't want to be the one to, like, jump to conclusions, but I'm just saying what I observed. But another thing is, like, something I believe we will get a backstory of the Widowbane brothers from a long time ago. It, not, it probably won't be a full episode, but it'll be at least a portion of an episode considering the giant bellows in the background, which everyone saw, I'm pretty sure. Look at Hunter, he changes, he cha I think one of the main reasons Hunter would have changed his art style, not, sorry, hairstyle, is because... He probably saw either a picture or a statue of Caleb and thought, I don't want to look like that. Especially after Bellos told him out of all the Grimwalkers, you'd look the most like him. He doesn't want to be associated with that shit. He changed his hairstyle. Which, honestly, I can see that. I, I respect that. 
I can totally see why someone would do that. But I think there might go into a deeper backstory of that instead of just having a cha hairstyle change. I mean, it is a time skip, so all the characters will have something like that. But yeah. Also, more stuff. It Amity appears to. It, it's hard to tell if it's like a dress or an apron of some sort. It could be either one, or it could be both. That's I'm just saying what I observed so far based off of the poster. But there are official renders, which proves it kind of is a mix of both, but more leaning towards an apron. Willow's glasses are kind of darker, which is something that took me a little bit to notice. Like the like, of course, if you've seen. Like, her glasses on her, like, render from season 2. They're like, I'd say like a gold, like a like a dark gold color. B but this time, it's like black and the lenses seem a bit tinted too, as is, her eye color appears slightly darker from the usual, like, lime green that it is. Louis's hair finally has some sort of curliness in it. Which is, honestly, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but it took them long enough to finally give Luz the curly hair that she should have had. Like, oh my god. This like genu this is one of the first things I noticed. Genuinely got my hopes up like so much because like I I like that she like the straight hair looks alright, but I really like the curly hair more because it represents her like background more, considering she is Afro Latina. But I think this is one better step. And I like that. Like I said, like if you look at all these other characters, their hair seems to have changed too. A lot of them got slightly longer. Hunter's the only one who really cut his hair. Look at Will, look at Amity, look at Gus, all their hair got longer. Even, I mean, V it's hard to go off of, I'm considering how little screen time she got, but even Camila's hair got a little bit longer. Another thing I noticed, a lot, like Hunter, you can see his face, he still has the scars, but on the slight bit where he sees his hand, it doesn't appear to have any scars. It may have just been an accident with the poster, or just trying to simplify it, I guess, because it's the background detail. But it doesn't appear to have scars. His tooth gap also has just seemingly disappeared. And another thing, with that bellows figure on the top left, Hunter is the only one looking at it, and he looks very concerned. And those eye bags are really showing, as well as like Lou's eye bags. Like this is what trauma does to a person. I think it's enough an analysis of this. And with the renders, like the official renders, which you'll see on screen now, these two, ca like, of course, these are the only two I've seen so far, but they, they look very different. Their designs resemble their beta designs quite a bit, I will say. I like, that I'm, I like what Amity did with her hair. It looks very cool with, like, the brown spot in the back. And Luz's eyebrow slit is very more defined than it was in King's Tide, at least to me. It looks more healed now, but it's more defined. Like, has a scar. She has her beanie on, and her, like I said earlier, her curly hair, which looks incredible. She has her Eda jacket with the beta shirt and these long green pants, and her red and white shoes, which honestly looks pretty awesome. With Amity, it's hard to tell what her shoes look like. This is a best guess, but this looks really realistic, and honestly, I'm not surprised they didn't show Luz's Palisman in the poster because that would have been a giveaway, but yeah. I think it's cool because it gives more anticipation. But like I said, there will be a time skip, so all of these characters are definitely older. I, I don't know if it's just the lighting or not, but we can sort of make out a, some gray streaks in Camilla's hair, which does, I guess, lean more towards the fact that it could have been at least a year, which make a lot of these characters 15 now, except for Hunter, which is like 17 now, and Willow, who would be 16 now, since they were older by the end of King's Tide. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's changed just ranging from like even small things such as Hunter's hair shattering onto all these characters just looking completely older. It's crazy how, like, I, we, I didn't think we'd be getting a poster this fast. Like, and of course, they can't have really characters like Ida, King, Lilith, Rain. They can't have characters like that because they're not, we don't really know what happened to them. Anything involving them would technically be a spoiler. It's a lot to think about. Four months since King's Tide was aired. And yeah, it's been a while. The Owl House Season 3 will be airing October 15th, 9pm. I'll be posting more updates about it on community posts. But I have a challenge for all of you. If you can somehow get this video to, what's a reasonable like goal? Like, 2,000 likes? What I will do is, of course we're still going to have our little stream party in my Discord server, where I play the episode and you can hear me react to it live. But what if I, on top of that, I also 
live stream it on YouTube. Not the full episode, I'm gonna have to send to the episode a lot. So if you want the good quality, join the Discord. Link in description. But, what if I live stream it on YouTube with face cam on? Like, I think that would be pretty fucking interesting, I'm not even gonna lie. But, that is up to you. If you wanna, if you want that, you know what to do, just click the like button. Remember, October 15th, 9pm, that's when the episode officially releases. I don't know if clips will be uploaded earlier or later, it depends on how fast I can get the episode. But, thank you for watching this video. And goodbye.